members one and all of the salivation nation we're going to be going for the gold british gold in this video as we attempt to continue to become our own central bank in this unboxing that's what it's about it's about individual liberty and sovereignty you think about that as good motivating factors well when we cannot control the value of this on a day-to-day -day basis and a month-to-month -month basis and certainly on a year-to-year -year basis we can certainly control our fit savings by accumulating gold. And so that's motivation with this unboxing here. We can do this here as smoothly as possible. From Atmex. Yes, indeed. Uh, this is one I had my eye on a bit. I have of these for all the years except for 2021. I'm not really collecting them by the year. I just... Uh, this one I saw, and I figured, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these. And it is a, oh, that's right, I forgot I ordered a capsule for it. Yes, indeed, and because it is a the British, I'm going to get it out of here, that's right, there we go. I did put some other things in here, you can see what it is. Oh, a card, and a Facebook thing, like us on Facebook at Mex. And a mobile app thing. All right, very good. So there we go. It is indeed the uh, the Royal Arms, or British Royal Arms for 2022, current year of issue here. And so we'll be adding this to uh, the stack and we'll be putting it in this capsule right here and right now for your uh, pleasure or your boredom or whatever you want to look, however you want to view it. But indeed, let's see here. These things are not direct fit holder. Uh, one thing I will say that these are expensive to get them from um, bullion dealers. You're better off getting them from a local coin shop or ordering them direct, uh, like on Fire Guy or something like that. You know, just for the convenience. I figured I'd go ahead and get one of these. But I really ought to order more of these for the one ounce coins that I do have. And some of them are actually starting to crack already. But let's take a look at this thing outside of the capsule for a moment. We're gonna look at the queen side. And you know, I tell you what, I have been featuring the queen side of the coins uh, more and more lately. People say, don't we want we don't wanna see the lizard, you know, and that kind of thing. But you know, I think uh, when she passes, I mean, she's uh, 96 now, I think. Uh, you know, some of our feelings may change. You know, I've always had somewhat of a respect for the queen uh, as a person, as an individual. And can, no matter what you say about the monarchy, uh, most everybody uh, that has uh, met her says that she is a fine lady. And obviously there's some controversy with regards to the crown, you know, uh, as far as that family in general. But I think of all of the family members, she's probably been the least tainted. And that includes the, the kids and the grandkids. She's probably been the least tainted, I think, of all of them. I think uh, William, though, has uh, kind of uh, preserved his reputation, but uh, certainly others in the family have not through the years. But um, notwithstanding, I, I don't hold strong views one way or the other. Uh, obviously, you know, it is tiring looking at the queen. In fact, we'll go ahead and turn this over um, to show the, the the side that's really the what attracts me to this. I love this royal arms design. I think it's just beautiful, and uh, to have this in gold is is quite spectacular, and it's beautiful. And 2022 is a special year with regards to the Queen because this is her platinum uh, anniversary. Um, and and, the, and of course, you know, if they make one of these in platinum, I may be, may, cons may consider getting one of those just because it sort of commemorates that without it being an actual commemorative coin because this is a design that first debuted in 2019. But you can see it's got the uh, royal uh, unicorn of Scotland and the lion of England. It shows kind of the unity of the of the Great Britain, and that's kind of the symbol there. And there's other sayings and things on there that I'm not quite as privy to. And as far as what the shield is, but they have all four kingdoms, I guess, or countries together, uh, with uh, Northern Ireland there and uh, the Welsh dragons and. 
uh, line of England and Scotland and the, uh, the unicorn. Uh, and then the crown is on top of it all, that it is a monarchy and it is a benevolent monarchy, mostly a figurehead. Uh, but by and large, this is a reeded coin. And uh, this is one that, in a sense, uh, just uh, of its very being, and considering that it's England and it's got the queen on it in 2022, is a bullion coin, but also can be considered a, uh, a commemorative coin as well. I like that galoche pattern, although I do think, in a sense, it should have been continued on this side, or for this particular piece, since this uses radial lines like the Can Royal Canadian Mint maple leaves, uh, I think it would be better suited in terms of uh, continuity between the obverse and rever reverse, which is something that I am definitely a fan of and needs to be implemented more. A lot of times these coin designers, they silo and they just worry about their side of the coin. Don't, don't think about the, the other side that is designed by some other sculptor. Uh, but nonetheless, I think that design is would be better fit for the obverse, especially in this case, but that's not the case. All of the Royal Mint's coins have the, the galoche pattern uh, with the obverse, same thing um, always. And then you have the Royal Arms on the other side. Uh, so they did make these in platinum, I believe in 2020. Well, yeah, because I have one in 2020. I don't know. I don't know even remember really seeing these in gold in 2021, but they could have had them and I just maybe ignored them. But in 2022, I, and, and in 2021, I don't know that I've seen a platinum version of these and I've not seen a platinum version of this yet for this year. But and notwithstanding, it'll be very interesting to see what will happen. It's a discussion to think about uh, numismatically and bullion wise. What is going to happen when the queen passes away? When she dies, who or what will be on the obverse? Will they do away with having the monarchy and the Commonwealth of Nations require or strongly suggest as part of that that they put the, uh, the figure of the monarch on the obverse? And by the way, it's also worth noting that the head side here is always considered the obverse with the monarch on the, on the, on the piece here. And this is the case here, a monarch, the Queen Elizabeth, uh, without question, every single time is always on the obverse. Uh, but nonetheless, what are your thoughts on this coin? Do you like the design? Do you have any of these in your collection to make them in silver and gold? And in 2020, I collected all the different styles. They had a 10th ounce gold. They had a one ounce gold. They had a one ounce silver. They had a one ounce platinum. And they had a 10 ounce silver. Had them all. I think I even did a video on all of them together. Uh, and you can probably search that out. I may post a link to it at the end screen of this video. But nonetheless, there it is. Um, all else fails, no matter what you feel about the queen or the design. One thing is for sure, it's an ounce of gold. And adding it to the collection is something that uh, I certainly will count as part of my journey to preserve my wealth and to protect myself against an ever-inflating dollar and against uh, economic instability, uh, which make no mistake, the economy is unstable, is not very stable right now. And there's a lot going on and a lot of concern um, in all different areas in manner of form. So I will continue to uh, try to do that. And I encourage you as well to do it. Saving up for one ounce of gold is not an easy task to do, um, but I do think it's something that is worthy to consider because you tend to pay the l lower premiums when you when you buy gold by the ounce. Um, and, but certainly there are other ways to buy gold at a fairly decent deal in half ounce, quarter ounce size, and maybe even 10th ounce size and less than 10th ounce size for certain types of gold like the Mexican dos y medio pesos and dos pesos. I've talked about that in a previous video too. So there you have it. Read it edge. Look at that. Just, just an exceptional, ni exceptionally nice coin. And now I keep on staring at the coin and I've been negligent. It's time to encapsulate the queen. All right. Very good. There we go. Into the capsule it goes. Freshly encapsulized. Some people love that sound. I should have not talked while I did that. I guess it's a little late now to pull it out. That's what she said. But here we go. There it is. Uh, one ounce of gold. The royal arms. Queen Elizabeth II, I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and to encourage you to please rate, share, 
comment, and subscribe!